Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q3 of the bi weekly contest 46 <laughs> map of the highest peak. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this prom. So, this prom is a little bit awkward. Um, so, basically, the idea is that you sell, um, you know, the idea is that, okay, you have, you have cells of water uh, and then you have cells of the max, and then you try to figure out. You know, the, any two adjacent cells have at most distance of one. So then, what what does it goes out to be, right? And the, I think the, the the algorithm is actually pretty standard, uh, pretty basic, if you will, pretty fu fundamental. And I don't, I'm not saying that to, to say that this problem is easy because converting this problem to that algorithm is kind of tricky and requires a, a little bit of insight and math. And I don't know why this is in Python and C plus plus. Um, but yeah, but basically what I did was breath first search going from uh, the water tiles. So basically the idea is that, you know, let's say you have some input. Let's say look at this one, right? Oops. Let's make it a little prettier. Um, the idea is basically that, you know, um, because... Um, Yeah, uh, because you want to maximize the height. The thing is that the maximum of the height is going to be bound by, you know, its surroundings, right? And you know, and I think we start off by by you know making sure that the water tiles are zero. So that's, I mean, th that just has to be true. So you know, let's just say we have x x zero. Uh, I mean, this has to be true because it's just the definition of the problem. Um, you know, zero x x. X, 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 right? And then now by default, well, what's the maximum height of the of the um, things that are bigger than zero, right? Well, it's going to have to be one. So we can set this to one, 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 right? And then the question is, well, why can't this be two? Um, because, oh, actually, I, I lied because I, I think it's just up, down, left, right. So I actually lied on that one. Um, so okay, so this is the what it would look like, right? And then the question is, well, why can't this be two? Well, this can be two because if this is two, then this zero, you know, this violates the the invariant of keeping it by one. So it ends up being that you reduce this to the short um, all pairs or not all pairs, sorry, multi-source shortest path uh, algorithm where the the weights are one because basically you, another way to think about it. And you know you could do this in a number of ways. Though I don't, I think if you do it in another way, the complexity may be slow. Um, is that okay? Given given each water tile, um, given each water tile, right? You uh, you look at the distance from each um, thing. So for for example, looking at this one, uh, this is the distance to all the mountains, right? So if this is the, if there's only one water tile, then this is going to be the answer. And I hope. Hopefully that makes sense and that explains why, right? So then now we do them independently. So let's say let's do this one. So then that one, the you know, we start with zero. Do, 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 do. And then now we go out and actually this is easy for me to do. Right? Something like this, right? So this this is the shortest distance and that's what the mountain the highest peak would look like. Um, and now to, to make sure that they're only constrained by one, we take the min of these two graphs. So you look at this one and then you look at this one and you just combine them in a min way. And that's basically how you would get the answer to enforce that, you know, all the neighbors are at most one because, um, because yeah. And it turns out that if you reduce that further and some of this requires playing around and proving it to yourself. So um, I'm going to leave that as an exercise at home, which is another way of saying, uh, I, you know, like I know how to explain it, but it, it might, you know, the intuition is, um, is something that you have to kind of, you know, draw maps and figure it out itself. But after that, uh, the code itself is pretty straightforward once you get that understanding, which is not an easy understanding. But once you have that understanding, um, then it becomes a multi-source shortest path. And this code is basically how I, mo I probably do variation of this all the time. So, um... So yeah, so I was able to solve this in about four minutes um, during the contest. Um, 
but yeah, so what's the complexity? Well, it's, it's just a breadth search on a grid. So it's going to be linear in the size of the input because the number, because, you know, BFS is equal to O of V plus E. Uh, the number of vertexes is equal to O of, you know, rows times columns, which is linear. And then E is equal to row of also row times columns times fourth up, down, left, right, also linear. Um, and this is linear in the size of the input because the input is R times C. So it's going to be linear time, linear space, because the size of the Q and also I guess the, the result that we return are also going to be linear in the worst case. So, uh, well, in this case, it's just linear always. But yeah, so this is linear time, linear space. So yeah, so this is all of n time, time and space. This is linear, right? Um, that's all I have for this problem. Let me know what you think. Um, I sometimes I go over the code, but this is actually very standard for me. You know, at least the way, that's the way that I usually write my multi-source uh, BFS. So, you know, if you have any questions, let me know. But um, you, if if you you know, if you have trouble understanding this code, I would definitely urge you to practice other breath search problems and get it from and do it your way and kind of get familiar with it. Um, that's all I have. You can watch me solve a live during the contest next. Why is there two in there? Oh, the two is the output. Okay. I think this is a binary search problem, but I think my neighbor is moving and it's really loud in the background for me. I don't know if you can hear it. If not, that's great. It, but it is bothering me for sure. Hmm. I don't know what's going on.
Hey, hey, thanks for watching. Hit hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. And I hope, you know, you take care of yourself, take care of others if you get the chance. You know, stay good, stay well, uh, to good health and to good mental health. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.